Dan, what do you what do you make of some of the moves you guys have made over the last week and a half here? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, I think that it shows um, that the Mets are all in. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, you know when you when you sign up to play sports, you, you sign up to win. Um, that's why you play. And um, it feels good to uh, be a part of a team that wants to win. Um, you know, you, you got to line up and you still got to play. Um, and it's uh, winning is hard no matter what product you put out there. But, you know, when you feel like you have the support um, of, you know, ownership and front office, it's trying to put the best product out there to win as many games as possible. Um, that's what you want to be a part of. Going into next season, do you anticipate having the same role that you finished with last year as that bit larger side of the platoon? Uh, yeah, you know, I... There's some things you can control in this game, and you know um, your uh, your position sometimes isn't that um, something that you can control. So you just go into spring training ready to go, and whatever they ask you to do, um, like I just said, you know you want to win. So obviously you want to play, and you know the way you play is you produce, um, and if you produce, you play, and that's just the name of the game. And you know whatever they ask me to do, I'm going to do, and uh, you know be a leader as I do it. Dan, do you think um, the rule changes will have any impact on you? The shift rule changes? Uh, I mean, I. We'll see what happens, but, you know, I feel like it'll all even out. You know, just when you think you're, you know, they're over there at a place they weren't, you're probably going to hit a few balls there and you're going to get out. Um, so, I mean, hopefully it does. Um, hopefully it raises uh, raises my average and gives me some more hits and, you know, get on base. Because the name of the game, get on base and score runs. So, um, but I think it just comes down to keep hitting the ball hard. Whatever happens, um, can't control it after that. There's going to be people playing everywhere on the field. I'm sure they'll find a new uh, new way around this shift rules. Um, teams will be playing people places you didn't think. What did you think of essentially swapping Jake for Verlander? Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's uh, you know it's always tough to see. Uh, you know, I was only here for a short amount of time. A lot of guys played with Jake for a long, long time, um, and Jake was nothing. You know, obviously. On the field, it is what it is, but um, everybody knows how good he is on the field. But as a human being, he was great to me. Um, he was a great person, great teammate, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I got to play with um, him for the short amount of time. And, you know, you replace him with a guy that, you know, has you know, been super, super successful and one of the best pitchers in the big leagues for a long time. So um, I'm excited to, you know, get to play with him now. And any time you get to surround yourself um, with greats in this game, um, you just you try to learn. Carlos, a couple more similarly, how... What do you think of the way Billy Epler in the front office have filled out the rotation with you and Max? I think I'm, I'm really happy for addition. You know, um, we got Berlander. Um, DeGrom just uh, left. But, um, it was nice to, to play with him, like I say. Uh, really good guy, teammates and everything. But the addition what we have, we are happy for. And um, I cannot wait to get to spring training and start, you know, practicing, playing, and getting ready for the season. What do you make of some of the trade stuff that's swirling around your name now? Oh man, I think the only thing that I can control where I stand in right now, I just getting ready for spring training and we'll see what happens.